Right guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this Christmas Santa's hat. So first of all, I'm going to take my cake board, I've covered it in ganache so that it will hold the cake and I'm just going to start stacking up round tiers of vanilla cake. In between each tier I'm using chocolate ganache. So obviously the size of the tiers that you use depends on how big you want your Santa's hat to be. So I've got 8 inch round here and I'm piling four up and I'm just going to start to carve them down from the middle out to the base creating this cone shape. What I'm going to try and do is curve it at one side and then curve it in on the other side as you can see here just so it bends forward a bit and then I'm going to take some chunks out one on the side here and this is going to go on the front side which is curving in so one there one on that side and one there this is just going to create this sort of rippled effect when I put the sugar paste over the top. Then I'm going to cover the whole thing in chocolate ganache. Now moving on to the sugar paste, I'm using the sugar paste and I'm adding some red food colouring to colour that red. I used water based red with from Spectrum Flow to colour that sugar paste. Then I'm just going to wrap that around my cake which I'm first steaming just to melt the chocolate a bit and then it will hold it. I'm just going to wrap that all the way around. Once that's attached, I'm just going to start to cut away the excess and then smooth that down onto the cake. This is where you'll start to see those areas that you cut out earlier start to show through the dents and then you can add a few other ripples yourself. For the top bit, I'm just taking some sugar paste and bending it into a sort of cone shape and then just folding it right across the front of the cake and smoothing it down on the right hand side so the pointiest side is on the left. Then I'm going to add some red water based Spectrum Flow to my cup and I'm going to start to airbrush. So I want to airbrush all over the cake but maybe go a little bit deeper and a little bit closer on the ridges that I've created. Then I'm going to add some black to the cup so it's darker and then go into those ridged areas and airbrush that there. This is going to give, give depth to the hat. To create the fur I'm simply taking some white sugar paste and just using my fingers to texturize a strip of it and wrapping that all around the base. You can also use um, a ball tool to do this. And I'm just taking a blob of the sugar paste there to put the ball at the end of the hat on. And that's it guys. That's how you make this Santa's hat cake. 